video today is starting out to be one of those days where nothing goes right for me. The last time that happened, it ended in tragedy, and so today I'm hoping to turn that around and make it into a positive day. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Anyway, we are going to drop Kaylee off at her barn to see her horse, and luckily Kaylee has invited Gabby to go to her house, and we get a Gabby break. <laughs> Yay. I don't. <laughs> Neither do, does her parents. Gabby, did you eat? No. Oh my gosh. Just have a Starbucks, it's okay. So, all, McDonald's. Yeah. all morning, I'm like, Kaylee, eat, Kaylee, eat. I'm not taking you back to your mom until you eat. Because I don't know if you know this about all well, these girls. Really if they don't eat appropriately, they don't act very well. So, grab yeah, them. Gabby grabbed a shower and not food. But she's got money. She's got money. Don't let her have caffeine I without got, food, Kaylee. I got money too. Stop at McDonald's. Kaylee. Here's the thing with Gabby. If she gets really quiet, it's because she needs to eat. You feed her. Yeah, if she gets really quiet and stops talking and just does this. I'm making the beef jerky now. Yeah, tell your dad to start, yeah. So, you guys might not have seen because Kaylee hasn't posted her Christmas videos yet. Have you posted? They're uploading tonight. They're uploading tonight. Can I tell them about what you gave to Gabby or no? Okay, so basically, Kaylee gave Gabby a really amazing present. Well, I can't even tell you the story until you see Kaylee's video, and it's gonna be uploaded tonight. It's her Christmas plug, video. Plug, plug, plug. plug. Yeah. But actually, I wanted to tell you a story about what Kaylee's dad said about Gabby, about the fact that basically she's not a cheap date. <laughs> she eats. The girl eats amazing, right? Never have to worry Gabby about um, starving me. Yeah. No. Never ever have to worry about that because Gabby can eat. The girl can eat. But anyway. Oh, if it's wings and. I will eat, eat turkey, all I will eat it all. Yeah. She's a meat eater. I'm a meat eater too. Sam, are you a meat I like eater? Meat. Yeah, we are all meat eaters. I love meat. I don't know what Kaylee is. Kaylee, what are you? Kaylee, you can do some meat. Yeah, I do meat. I do veggies. I just do all of it. She does poutine. I do poutine. Yeah. I don't. I, I love don't veggies like too. I don't like poutine. I, I poutine french fry lover, but I do love good vegetable and I love dairy. Dairy is one of my big things too. So comment below what your favorite food is because I don't even know. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is ice cream and meat, I guess. Any kind of meat. I love chicken. What's your favorite food? Um, I don't know. What's your favorite food, Sophie? Candy. Gab Gabby, what? Wings. 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 Sushi. Uh, uh, speaking of sushi, that is exactly where we're going to go as soon as we drop them off. We're taking Nick in for his birthday. Bye, Gabby. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Behave. Bye. Behave. Right, so we're at sushi. And Sylvie hates sushi. Nick likes sushi. Sam likes sushi. Do you like sushi? Do you like sushi? <laughs> I like sushi. Gabby likes sushi. Gabby doesn't. Gabby. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby doesn't like. Sushi. Gabby doesn't like sushi. And so it starts. We've got we've got um, scallops. What's this? What's this? Sweet uh, sesame chicken. Sesame chicken. So be like that. Oh yeah. wait, what was in that? Sweet and sour. Oh, that was uh, that's calamari. You want to order? Two. That's calamari. Calamari. More of that? What's that? Sweet and sour chicken. Sweet and sour chicken. How come you ordered so little? We're a big family. There's more coming. Oh, okay. Oh, it's cold. Wait a minute. Gabby, how did your hair get brown again? And how did you get so short? Oh, you're not Gabby. Oh, look it. It's got to be liking Hendrix. Hi, pretty girl. Eat me. Uh, anyway, some of you guys might know Hope. She rides with us. She hangs out with us. And she's here because Gabby's gone and we can never just have one kid. We have two of Fiona's pets. Yeah, we have two of Fiona's <laughs> pets. What the heck, Fiona? Yeah. Well, it looks like somebody's been rolling. Oh yeah, she was way muddier yesterday. Are you way, way muddier yesterday, Sky? I love Sky's height. It's such a good... Yeah, she's nice. She's, a, she's just a baby. All right. Um, yeah. Well, we're going to throw lunch. We're gonna throw some lunch to the ponies and take you in and groom you because I feel like Sky has not been letting the horses eat. Eat. Yeah, have you met Willow before? That's Willow. Chubby Willow. 
Yeah. Look at why is her hair always so messy now? It's the blanket. Yes, yeah, she kisses. Try and kiss her. See if she'll kiss you. No. No, put she her won't. to know you didn't even give her a chance. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. <laughs> so selfish. She likes you. She's like, ah. Isn't that the cutest thing though? Yeah. She can also smile. So Sky's definitely getting more aggressive with the other ponies. She's saying that she's the boss of this place. Hey, no. enough of that. Don't grab on. And we are not leaving her halter on in the field anymore. You're all moody mare. Sophie, we have to take that off. So I have a little bucket with bleach and water in it. I've been uh, washing her brushes, her grooming tools. But we are going to see how well the treatment is happening. I know I should be wearing gloves. She still has a couple of little bumps, but very mild compared to before. Yeah, we're going to have to wash her hands when we go up because... Yeah, so we're going to take care of that. Um, Mom, what's the stuff that she has called? Rain rot. Rain rot? Okay. Rain rot. She's like, I do not have rain rot. <laughs> so, um... I showed Hope that we can stay behind our horse's butt. I just don't trust her yet. And our and the pet of horse's butt. Do you hair. are you nervous to stand behind a horse's butt? Well, sometimes if I know if they're known to kick, but yeah, if, they, if they're not, then no. yeah, and you're not really supposed to because even a trained horse could kick. Yeah. But yeah, we are a little over zealous with our horses, a little too touchy feely. Bit me before. That's because she was trying to get creep. Do are do we have carrots down here? I don't know. Help come along. So we are gonna start working with her soon. Um, you guys remember when we brought Stella home and we couldn't ride her? And we took her for walks. A friend told me that we should take her for walks and just spend time with her around our property and we did that and Stella loved it. One of the big memories that I have of Stella is her, when I took Sophie for, a, uh, oh, Sophie and Shayla was here and we went for a pony ride and Sophie was on Finn and she was freaking out and Finn was freaking out. And Shayla, who didn't know that to even think to be afraid of Stella, they just went riding down the road and they were just like so far ahead of us and they were just had no care in the world and Stella was so confident and Shayla was so confident and Stella was loving having kids on a kid on her and it just she, it was just so beautiful and I keep thinking about that all the time. So I think I want to. I think I want to start taking uh, Sky and our ponies for walks now, but it's freezing rain out now, so we're not going to do it today. Bye. Thank you. Oh, good. You found a carrot for her? Good girl. A whole bag. Yeah, I was hoping there was a whole bag. She's pretty wide, though. Don't you think she's pretty wide? Yeah. She's not a skinny horse. She's not like a thoroughbred kind of horse. <laughs> Jack, I can't reach it, guys. Could I have a hello? Oh, yeah. Were you shocked that we got Sky so fast after Stella died? Yeah. You were? But that's a good thing. Yeah, it can be a good thing. A lot of people on Instagram especially are saying, some people on Instagram are saying that we replaced Stella and yeah. that we just went too fast. And oh, she's itchy. Yeah. And it definitely was not like that for us. Yeah. I'm going to tell you guys something that I have not been telling anybody because it's still really close to my heart, if I can tell you. But before we got, before Stella left, I feel like God told me in my heart, no less than four times, I feel like he said you need to bring Sky home. Four times, at least, over the course of maybe two months. I felt him nudging me and saying, you need to bring Sky home. And I did not want her. I did not want anything to do with her. I didn't even pay any attention to her. I didn't pay any attention to her story. She's like, you're so rude. <laughs> Why not? I'm so gorgeous. I was in love with everything that we had. And Gabby's been riding Johnny at the barn and I love that horse. And I did not have any room for this horse. I did not want this horse. I didn't want anything to do with her and not in a mean way i never said god no oh i did say that i said that a lot of times every time i felt god nudge me and say laura this horse needs you and it's not because she was in a bad place because she wasn't i felt him telling me laura this horse needs you and i kept saying no I, i'm not and i told him all the reasons why i didn't want her i didn't want her because she is not trained i didn't want her because 
I didn't want her to be mean to our horses. I didn't want to introduce another horse to our herd. Not that she is mean, but I, I don't do well with strong leader type horses. I was happy with our happy little herd. I didn't want her for like a lot of reasons and I was not getting her. But like, I was not. And no less than four times God told me, I think you need to bring her home. And I said, no less than four times, no way on earth. And then he took Stella and I don't even know why but I knew it was the right thing for us. I knew like, I, I after Stella left, I was like, well, that's done. Like, we're never getting another horse for home. I never wanted a horse for me. I never needed a horse. It was only that Stella needed an owner and that is why I ended up with Stella. And I didn't want another horse for me. I still don't want a horse for me. I believe there's a higher power and I believe that Sky was meant to be with us. And I wonder, had I listened to God sooner, would Stella still be with us? I know it seems hokey, but I believe that. I did feel the call from God to get Sky, and I never told that to anybody. I never told it to Fiona, I never told it to anybody in our barn, I never said, oh, I feel like Sky is meant to be ours. I ignored Sky. I ignored the whole, even when she jumped the fence in the summer, I didn't even know who she was, even though I felt God telling me that I needed to bring her here. So that's what happened, you guys. I didn't want Sky. I didn't think I needed Sky, but the minute I said, Fiona, how about if I take Sky home? The minute I said it, the minute Fiona said yes, I felt my heart open up like it was the right thing. Like, you know when you do something and it's the right thing, the thing that you've been meant to do all along? That's how I felt. And so I'm just a passenger in this life, it feels like sometimes. And I'm just doing what God tells me. And somebody even suggested that we wanted Stella to die so that we could give our kids a horse for Christmas. Yeah, someone said that. I feel really sad for, I feel really sad that anybody could have a thought process like that and that the world has come to the point where they think that people live their real lives only with things like that. I feel sad that people believe that, I just feel sad about that. Anyway, that is the story, that is why, that is how. I don't even have any explanation for it. All I know is that she's here and that I do love her and I still feel sick about it. Like, I still feel nervous, like she's young and she's an Appaloosa and she's nothing like we've ever had before and it's gonna be such a huge journey. But one thing I know for sure, the only thing I know for sure, is that God has a plan and we're meant to be together for right now. I do not know what's gonna happen in the future, but for right now, She's meant to play a part in our life and we're meant to play a part in her life. And I think that's okay. It's freezing rain outside so the horses are eating lunch in. Sky's rain rot is 99.9% .9 gone. There's just a couple of spots that we missed. And I treat it again today. I'll treat it again tomorrow. And then if it all looks good, I'll put her new blanket on. Someone asked me why we would buy a uh, Brand new blanket for a rescue horse. Oh, that's another thing. A lot of you guys have been asking me, are we keeping Sky? So yeah, the big question, especially on Instagram, is, yeah, there's a tail in my face. <laughs> Hendrix is hanging out. Um, are we keeping Sky? As of this minute, no, we're not keeping Sky. Say hi, Hendrix. Say hi. We are gonna buy Gabby a, a new horse one day, and it is gonna be a show horse, a dedicated, show horse and that is not uh not a horse that needs a lot of training the sky is not ours she's just a, a foster i just felt like she needed us not ours i don't know where her future is going to end up i feel like stella's legacy is to teach us that all the time that i've been scared all the things i never did because i was scared all the animals that i could have helped because i was that i didn't because i was scared 
all the people that I could have helped, but I didn't because I was scared. How many of you guys out there are scared to go out of your safe zone, even if it means that you could make the difference in the life of an animal or a person? That's me. And then maybe Stella's legacy is to change that. Maybe I'm meant to go out of my comfort zone and do something to change the life of an animal and a person. Maybe God wants me. I feel like 2020 is going to be the year that I give up my fears. I move forward and I just do my best. And I hope that's what he has planned. Sky, be nice. Well, I don't know how our horses are still chubby because they play musical hay now. Sky. <laughs> I want it all for herself, but she's not mean. She just put, just pushes them off. And that's why we make a lot of piles. So I think that's good because uh, with a round bale, it's easier to kind of guard the whole thing for yourself. But our horses are still able to, to eat, obviously. Anyway, there's that. Sky is not meant for us. At least not now. She's not a rescue. She's just a foster. And the other question that people had is, why in the heck would you buy her a brand new blanket? Oh, we are going to buy her every blanket that she needs. We are going to buy her any saddle pad that she needs. We're going to make sure she has everything that she needs because this is something that I want every single one of you guys to know. Your life matters. Her life matters. Every single person de deserves to be treated like a cherished, loved being. And that is Sky included. We're going to love her like she is ours and treat her the way that she deserves to be treated. And she's going to have everything that she needs, foster or not. And no, somebody else mentioned that some agency pays for that. Nobody is paying for that. She is here because we wanted to have her because she is healing our soul. And hopefully all the constant handling that we do with her is going to really make a difference in her world. But we pay for her. We will pay for all the things that she needs. And she'll be here as long as God intends and as long as we need her to be. And that is all I've got to say about that, you guys. I just wanted to clear it all up for you guys. But anyway, I'm going to go up to the house. The girls are already up there. And I have a ton of editing to do that I've been putting off this, this Christmas holiday. I have a video for Gabby's channel that I've been dying to do. So I'm going to go and do that right now. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Oh, the last thing. People are saying, if she has rain rot and you don't want to touch your ponies after touching her, why the heck are you letting them be together? Well, we did not let them be together. Sky was going to be on isolation for a couple of days. We penned her in and penned the ponies out. And then the ponies said, forget that. And they broke through the fence and broke in to be with Sky. And so that's what happened there. And secondly, all of her rain rot spots are just on her butt area and um, it's all covered with a blanket yeah and I know it's not completely foolproof and that they could still get it but I mean it's not like she's openly it's not like she's rubbing up against them with spots that are just openly sitting there they're at least a little bit covered and hopefully that will make a difference if not then I'll be treating my whole herd for a rain rot but you know what she's worth it she is always going to be worth it any animal is always going to be worth it even if you save her remember the time we saved that little lowly mouse mouse and then he turned on us once he got warm. Um, yeah, it was worth it too.